Hyderabad, August 4, Hyderabad on Thursday added another landmark with the inauguration of the state-of-the-art world-class integrated command and control center of Telangana State Police. Built at a cost of 600 crore rupees, the iconic building has come up in upscale Banjara Hills in the heart of this technology hub whose landscape is already dotted with gleaming towers of several global IT giants. With the networking the functioning of various units of the police under a single roof, the facility serves as the nerve center to tackle crises like law and order problems, natural calamity or other disasters. The center also has a helipad on the rooftop for emergency operations. This is claimed to be the first-of-kind facility in India and is modeled on the lines of command and control centers in New York and Chicago. Equipped with the latest technology, the police towers, as the center is also called, will help police to further improve the monitoring mechanism and cut down the response time across the state. The footage from about 10 lakh CCTV cameras installed across the state can be monitored from this facility. With a built-up space of 6.42 lakh square feet, the Twin Towers stand 272 feet tall and will also help in multi-agency operations for disaster management. Chief Minister K. Chandra Shekhar Rao inaugurated the center and offices of Hyderabad Police Commissioner, various wings of the police and a museum, showcasing the history of Telangana Police. Accompanied by Home Minister Muhammad Mahmood Ali, Director General of Police M. Mahinder Reddy, Hyderabad Police Commissioner C. V. Anand, Chief Secretary Somesh Kumar and other top officials, the Chief Minister went around the building and witnessed technology demonstration. The center comprises twin towers. Tower A, which is a 20-storied building has the Hyderabad City Police Commissionerate. Tower B has 15 stories and it served as the technology fusion tower, with all backups relating to dial 100. Tower B will also have she safety, cyber and narcotics, crimes branches and incubation center. The building, comprising five blocks, has chambers for the chief minister, home minister and DGP. When required, they can monitor the crisis situation from the war room and give necessary instructions to law enforcement agencies and other departments. The building also has a data center equipped with the new technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning for analytics in tackling the crimes. The center has a 480-seater auditorium, a media and training center. Officials of not just police but also other government departments can monitor the situation for disaster management. The building has parking space that can accommodate 604 wheelers and 352 wheelers. No wooden furniture has been used in the center. Officials said the furniture has been designed out of recycled material. About 35% of the land has been allotted for plantation. The police command and control center is a green building. With the glass facade, natural light allows the building to cut down on 50% of energy consumption. Additionally, solar panels will generate up to 0.5 megawatts of electricity. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.